Hello everyone, uh, this video provides a brief overview of our IP Link MPXP uh, codec. MPXP codec is purpose built to transport FM composite uh, multiplex uh, signal over IP networks. Uh, there are advantages of uh, transporting uh, MPX uh, signal as opposed to discrete uh, left and right uh, audio signal across the STL. For example, it allows users to place the uh, audio processing as well as RDS encoder equipment at the, at the studio end, which is convenient for maintenance. And it can also save you money if you're distributing the same signal uh, to multiple location. You would only need a single audio processor at the, at the studio end. Some of the key capabilities of the Kodak are, uh, it is a single uh, channel uh, device. Uh, it is dual domain, meaning it will simultaneously support digital MPX uh, and analog MPX. Uh, digital MPX is obviously the AES-192 uh, standard. It is full duplex with independent uh, settings for input and output uh, channels. Uh, the sample rate for the input and the output channels are configurable. Uh, for MPX uh, transport, uh, the supported sample rates can be configured between 132 to 216 uh, kilohertz, uh, depending on how much of the FM spectrum the user wishes to transport. The MPXP channel can also be configured uh, to carry left and right uh, uh, discrete audio uh, signal with 32 and 48 uh, kilohertz sample rate. Uh, the audio format uh, that uh, the Kodak carries is uncompressed. Uh, this would be typically configured for return confidence uh, stream instead of bringing the entire MPX signal from the transmitter uh, side back to the studio end, the users can bring uh, the left and right audio streams. For MPX uh, transport, the sample width uh, is also configurable between 12 and 24 bits. So the combination of sample rate and sample width settings will dictate how much uh, wide area network bandwidth is required uh, for the stream. Uh, we have a table coming up uh, that shows you different uh, combination. And just like uh, IP-Link uh, 100P and IP-Link 200 uh, models, uh, IP-Link MPXP also supports uh, synchrocast uh, technology for FM, SFN application uh, with option for built-in uh, GPS uh, receiver. Uh, there is also optional IP Connect uh, capability uh, which will allow uh, external IP pa data packets to be tunneled uh, through the Kodak across the wide area IP networks. Uh, so for example, in HD radio application, the user can tunnel the E2X stream from the studio end uh, using the Kodak across the wide area IP network uh, to leverage the network reliability methods of IP-Link MPX, so it protects the E2X streams from packet losses. And since IP-Link MPX is built on the same uh, platform as the other IP-Link codecs. It has similar uh, platform level capabilities. For instance, it supports uh, stream splicing and forward error correction for transport uh, reliability. Uh, stream splicing uses duplicate uh, packet streams uh, that can be sent across you know, two different networks or on the same network with programmable time offset. It's a very powerful technique uh, to protect against burst losses. And forward error correction is another uh, packet uh, protection technique that uh, uses parity packets to recover uh, lost packets. So the combination of stream splicing and forward error correction provides a very scalable protection for the MPXP codec, just like the other IP-Link models. It has uh, three network uh, ports that can be used for streaming as well as management uh, traffic simultaneously. There is built-in uh, firewall on each network port to protect from unauthorized uh, traffic. There are eight multi-purpose uh, GPIO contact uh, closures that can be configured for a variety of uh, uh, functions uh, and it supports uh, uh, SNMP web interface for, uh, for network management as well as front panel uh, display you know, for, for management and, and status. So this uh, slide shows uh, typical topologies uh, for MPXP. For single point-to-point -point, uh, transport, uh, the audio processor would uh, typically put out uh, a complete composite signal consisting of analog, uh, RDS, and optionally SCA uh, signals. The signal is then transported uh, across the network uh, using the pair of IMP MPXP codec, and on the receiver, uh, the decoder will output both analog as well as digital MPX uh, signal simultaneously. For point uh, to multi-point application where each transmitter site you know, needs uh, different uh, RDS information, uh, typically what we have seen 
uh, is that the analog MPX output from the audio processor is fed into each RDS encoder, which mixes in the RDS uh, signal and outputs a complete MPX signal to the uh, to the MPXP encoder, uh, which is transported across the IP network at the receiver. Again, both analog and digital MPX uh, signals are available for uh, for for use. MPX uh, P supports uh, multiple uh, input ports. Uh, there are a total of three ports. Uh, one AES and two analog ports uh, for redundancy of the audio processor so you can connect main and the backup audio processor and you can set up the ports uh, for automatic uh, failover. On the outputs uh, there are three output uh, signal ports as well uh, one AES 192 and uh, two analog MPX uh, ports all of all three can be active simultaneously so you can feed up to three different uh, uh, exciters. There are also two subcarrier input ports to mix in signals uh, for the analog output uh, signal. So this uh, table shows uh, different configuration options for sample rate and sample uh, widths. Each combination has an associated uh, wide area network uh, bandwidth that's required uh, for the stream. For example, to carry just the audio and the RDS uh, subcarrier of the MPX uh, signal, uh, the user would set uh, 132 kilohertz sample rate. Uh, then you can uh, select from uh, between 12 bits up to 24 bits for the sample width. And for each sample width, for this sample rate, there is an associated uh, requirement for the wide area network uh, bandwidth. So the lowest is uh, one point. Uh, uh, 64 megabits per second for 12 uh, bits, you know, and for 24 bits uh, for 132 kilohertz sample rate is 3.3 uh, 3 megabits per second. So the higher the sample rate, uh, 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 you know, higher the uh, wide area network uh, bandwidth requirement is. Uh, f both 162 and 192 kilohertz uh, sample rate uh, will transport up to the SCA1 uh, subcarrier. You would select. 192 kilohertz uh, sample rate uh, to bypass uh, the input sample rate uh, converters. In other words, if you wanted a transparent transport with 24-bit uh, sample width, that's what you would select. That does require 4.8 uh, megabits uh, per second of stream bandwidth. Uh, MPXP also uh, supports 216 kilohertz uh, sample rate to carry the entire FM uh, spectrum up to the SCA2 uh, subcarrier. Uh, today's application uh, will likely not uh, use this setting, but it allows for future expandability. So that uh, covers uh, just a brief uh, overview of the MPX uh, P codec. For details, please uh, refer to the data sheet and the and the manual. Thank you.